Hey everyone, Pastor Kyle here with another video. This is Build My Life. We're in the key of E in a 4-4 time. Again, if you look at the structure of the song, we basically have a 1, a 4, a 5, and a 6. We also have a 2 chord that's thrown in there, but let's look at the basic structure of the song. We're in the key of E, and we mentioned this before, but we want to try to keep in the mid section here with our chording. So if we play my E in root position up here, might sound a little dark. If I played it up here, it might sound a little too light. So if I put it in second inversion, that means my fifth is here. So I have B, E, G sharp. Move up to my A. My A chord is right here. E with G sharp. This just means a different bass note. Looking at the chorus, I have my A chord, which goes to F sharp minor. So let's look at, again, the relationship between the chords. We're not just thinking chord to chord. We're thinking relationship between all of my chords. A chord, I have A, C sharp, E. I'm going to an F sharp minor chord, which is F sharp, A, C sharp. Now, if I look at the chords that I have in common, between my A chord, I have A and C sharp. So if I have A, C sharp, E, and I want to go to a chord that has F sharp, A, C, and I want to keep the notes that are the same, A and C sharp, here I have an E, but I'm going to change it to a different note, F sharp. The easiest thing for me to do is to move my E up to F sharp. Okay. Now if I'm playing my A in first inversion, which would be the third on the bottom, so I have not root here, but root up here, so I have third, fifth, and root, uh, so in the chorus, holy, thank you, I'm going to move my E up to F sharp here. same way I did before with B in the bass. And now I'm going to my C sharp minor 7. We've talked about this before with our E minor 7. It's like a major chord with a different note in the bass. So let's look at the notes that we have for C sharp minor. We have C sharp, E, G sharp, B. That's a C sharp minor 7. Let's play it up here. If I remove the bass and play it separately down here, I'm left with what? an E chord, E, G sharp, B. That's the same chord that I had. And I can also play it in second inversion like I did before. <clears throat> so here I have E with B in the bass. Mm -hmm, to those, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my E chord here and move to C sharp here. And now I have a C sharp minor seven chord. So when I'm e moving from the E over B, to a C sharp minor seven, don't think, oh, I have to kind of think what those notes are. No, all I'm gonna do is keep my same structure in my right hand and move left hand up to C sharp, okay? So let me run through the structure of the song. I'm gonna basically just, just verse one, the chorus, and then the bridge, okay? Because we might have to look at some of the melody notes of the bridge, and I will um, try to write some of those out and send a PDF to you as well, okay? So, basic structure. Verse 1. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Now verse 2 has basically the same structure, it's just that we add, we live for you at the end of there. Now let's go to the chorus, starting, we hang on that A. Holy, which is actually this note up here. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show Of 
picture of the intro for that. Now let's move to the bridge. I'm going to play just instrumentally, and here it says on the music, instrumental building. octaves if I want. Notice I'm playing the exact same thing from my A and my B chord. So I'm basically kind of outlining a, an E chord with that extra second note in there. C sharp minor. part and if you're going to do the instrumental part it'd be great if you could learn that on the piano just think starting on the E and then you get to the actual singing I will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation that would be if I'm playing through the chords if we've got that moving melody line, actually I would probably play it, and I think I do when I play this song. C sharp, which probably the guitars will be playing, I would maybe go ahead and play that melody note and drone, that means I'm going to play this as a constant tone as I'm playing all my moving notes. So I have my B playing with all those moving notes. So B is playing with E, B is playing with F sharp, B is playing with G sharp, and then B by itself. notes kind of give you some instant harmony now if you want to do the intro you, that way instead of the octaves you could play it like this back to the chorus. So, Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Then I think it's marked just voice only. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me and on E. So that's the basic structure of the song with some of those. I don't think I need to write that out for you. I think you can uh, just figure that out on your own with the uh, instrumental part for the bridge. Or with the constant tone here. Have 
fun practicing.